Masks work in harmony with the keying tools to clean up areas that your key cannot handle. You might need to remove extraneous objects from the background of your image. Or perhaps your subject is wearing an unavoidable item of green clothing, or you have green reflections on your subject. The Masks tool set is designed to help you fix such problems. To create a mask, click the Add Mask button. This automatically puts you in Create mode, so you can immediately draw your mask on the canvas by clicking to place individual control points. Clicking again on the first control point will close the mask shape and activate the mask. You can also use this button in the toolbox to toggle the mask shape, open or closed. You can continue to add additional masks as needed, or use the Remove Mask button to delete the selected mask from the list. When drawing masks, you can create curves and more flowing shapes using Bezier-style handles. Simply hold the mouse button down and drag when you click to create a new point to adjust the shape of the segment just created. Once you are happy with it, click again to create the next control point, continuing until the mask is completed. By default, each mask will remove or mask out the area of the canvas which it contains. However, we can change this behavior in several ways. Using the Type menu in the Mask Properties, we can change the mask from Remove Alpha to Retain Alpha, which will prevent the area within the mask from being affected by the key. Or we can invert the entire mask using this tick box in the Properties, so that everything outside the shape we have drawn is affected by the mask rather than the area inside. This transparent green overlay indicates the area that will be affected by the selected mask. Each control point can also be edited after the mask is created if you find additional adjustments necessary. The Make Straight and Make Curved buttons can be used to toggle the points from angles to curves. Each point can also be selected on the canvas if the point needs moved or the Bezier handles need adjusting. If you need to add additional points, simply click anywhere on the dotted border of the mask area while in Create mode to add new points. Any point can be deleted by selecting it on the canvas and pressing the Delete key, or by right-clicking it and selecting Delete from the menu. You may have noticed in that menu, you can also use that to toggle a individual control point between being straight or being curved. To select multiple points, you can command click or control click if you're on Windows on each point that you wish to select. If the edge of your mask is too severe, then you can use the feather control to soften the edges for a more subtle effect. The blue overlay gives a reference for the width of the feather that you have applied. When in select mode, you can edit the shape or position of a mask, but you cannot add additional points to it. If you do find that you need to add more points later on, you can always switch back to Create Mode at any time to edit your mask in that way. The colors within the masked area can be impacted by a setting in the Key toolset. The Spill Suppression tool has a process menu, which controls whether the spill suppression is applied to the image before the masks or after the masks. In this image, we have both blue and green on this sports jersey. So regardless of the color of backdrop we use, there will be an issue. As you can see when I reset the key here so that green screen is removed, the logo on that jersey is removed as well. But we can use a mask to easily retain the logo area and with the spill suppression process set to before masks, the green color is accurately reproduced. In this image, the glossy finish on the guitar is reflecting the green screen along this edge, so that when the key is applied, that portion of the guitar is removed. Obviously, we don't want the edge of the guitar removed, so to retain that area, we can create a mask around it and change the type to Retain Alpha. Need to bring that up a little bit. Now we've recovered the edge of the guitar there, but it's still green, which doesn't really fit with the background that we have selected. But if we go back into the key 
and switch the process in the spill suppression to after masks, you can see how that green is removed, leaving a much more natural color that matches the scene perfectly. If we zoom back in more closely so that you can see that clearly, you can see how the color is much nicer there, but you might also notice how hard the edge of the mask is in that area compared to the other edges on the image. Now it's such a small area that unless this image was getting blown up huge you probably wouldn't see that, but we can very quickly using the mask controls add a little bit of feather to that to make that edge blend even more accurately into the scene. Our next video will begin an examination of filters and how they can be used to adjust colors and enhance your composites.